Have you ever found yourself drawn into a film that lingers in the corners of your thoughts long after the credits roll? If so, perhaps you've experienced the enigmatic pull of the 1977 movie The Sentinel. The first time you watched the cinematic piece, did it unravel its mysteries before your eyes or leave you with lingering questions about the supernatural? The Sentinel unfolds as a psychological horror film directed by Michael Winner that takes its audience on a journey into the eerie and unknown. With its unique narrative and unsettling atmosphere, the movie has left an indelible mark on many viewers. Is there a particular scene or moment that, to this day, haunts your thoughts or resonates with you on a deeper level? As we delve into random facts about this enigmatic production, we invite you to reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Sentinel. What aspect of this film has left an enduring imprint on your cinematic journey? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear your unique perspectives. Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing insights into the world of The Sentinel. Did you know that the film features a notable ensemble cast, including Christina Raines, Chris Sarandon, and Martin Balsam? The narrative, adapted from Jeffrey Convitt's novel, weaves a tale of supernatural suspense, delving into the mysterious occurrences surrounding an ominous apartment building. As we explore these facts, consider the impact of the Sentinel on the horror genre and its enduring presence in the minds of those who have encountered its unsettling narrative. How has this film become a milestone in your cinematic journey? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Your voice adds depth to the collective experience of The Sentinel. Your memories, like the film itself, contribute to the ongoing dialogue around this classic piece of horror cinema. In the making of the 1977 movie The Sentinel, author Jeffrey Convitz and director Michael Winner had a strained collaboration. Convitz initially opposed Winner directing the film, but Winner, in their first conversation, pledged to create a horrifying and shocking cinematic adaptation of Convitz's book. Winner's promise was ambitious, aiming to elicit strong reactions from the audience. Contrary to the usual director-actor dynamic, actress Christina Raines found more character insight from Convitz than from Winner. This unconventional source of guidance suggests a unique creative process on the set of The Sentinel. Michael Winner, in his biography, highlighted an unsettling incident involving the film's production crew. Some crew members, supported by unions, refused to share meals with deformed individuals hired by the production. Winner expressed shame at this behavior, indicating a disturbing lack of empathy. However, in a contradictory turn, Winner later claimed in a Blu-ray commentary that he intended to eat with the deformed individuals in protest but abandoned the idea due to extreme heat. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the challenges and dynamics that shaped the production of The Sentinel. The clash of visions between Convitz and Winner, Rain's unique source of inspiration, and the uncomfortable incident on set all contribute to the film's intriguing backstory. In retrospect, The Sentinel stands as a product of both creative collaboration and discord, reflecting the complexities of filmmaking in 1977. This snapshot of the production process adds layers to the understanding of the movie's development and the individuals involved. In Michael Winner's memoir, he reveals the studio's rejection of Martin Sheen as the male lead in The Sentinel. The studio cited Sheen's TV fame as a hindrance, opting for a different direction. Winner, in a straightforward account, sheds light on the clash between artistic vision and commercial considerations. This decision, made in the early stages, set the tone for the film's casting dynamics. As the production unfolded, Winner found himself grappling with an unexpected choice. The producer insisted on Chris Sarandon, an Oscar-nominated actor from Dodd Day Afternoon. Winner, hesitant about Sarandon, reluctantly agreed but faced a later confrontation. A few weeks into filming, the producer, unimpressed, questioned Sarandon's presence, referring to him as a Greek waiter. Winner, having committed to the choice, found himself in a bind, unable to alter the casting. This incident reveals the complexities of decision-making in the filmmaking process. Adding another layer to the Sentinel's narrative, Jeffrey Convitz, in the Blu-ray commentary, hints at a potential third book in the Sentinel series. This hypothetical installment explores the cosmic necessity of the Sentinel on Earth despite the vastness of galaxies. Convitz's insight into the broader narrative context offers a glimpse into the expansive universe he envisioned for the Sentinel series. 
These behind-the-scenes revelations, the studio's veto of Sheen, the tug-of-war over Sarandon, and Convict's conceptual expansion, unraveled the intricate web of choices and compromises that shaped the Sentinel. Each decision, from casting to narrative direction, contributed to the unique tapestry of this 1977 cinematic creation. Universal initially aimed to secure Don Siegel as the director for The Sentinel, but Siegel declined due to his discomfort with the movie's genre. This decision set the stage for a significant shift in the film's direction. However, the studio's eventual choice of Michael Winner sparked tension with author Jeffrey Convitz, who had reservations about Winner directing the adaptation of his book. Despite their strained collaboration, Winner pledged to create a horrifying cinematic experience. The casting process had its share of challenges. The studio rejected Martin Sheen for the lead role, citing his TV fame as a hindrance. Chris Sarandon, chosen as an alternative, faced skepticism from Winner, who reluctantly agreed to the casting. A later confrontation arose when the producer questioned Sarandon's suitability, labeling him a Greek waiter. This incident sheds light on the intricate decision-making involved in filmmaking, where artistic vision clashes with commercial considerations. Jeffrey Convitz hinted at a potential third book in the Sentinel series in a Blu-ray commentary, expanding on the cosmic necessity of the Sentinel on Earth. This conceptual insight provides a glimpse into Convitz's broader narrative vision. The Sentinel's production journey involved a series of decisions and compromises, from the directorial shift to casting challenges and narrative expansion. Each choice, fueled by creative clashes and commercial considerations, contributed to the unique tapestry of this cinematic creation. In a curious note, the Latin words written by the character Allison in the film, supposedly from John Milton's Paradise Lost, translate to watching your office and running. This linguistic detail adds a layer of intrigue to The Sentinel, showcasing the attention to detail in its production. The behind-the-scenes revelations of directorial shifts, casting dilemmas, and narrative expansions offer a comprehensive view of the complexities that shaped The Sentinel, making it a compelling piece of 1977 cinema. As we bid adieu to the ethereal realm of The Sentinel, let the echoes of 1977 resonate within you. Venture into the corridors of your own memories, where the flickering light of the silver screen met your eager gaze. The Sentineland is not merely celluloid, it's an odyssey through time, a symphony of emotions woven into the fabric of your cinematic journey. Pause, if you will, and let the whispers of nostalgia brush against your consciousness. What fragments of the Sentinel dance in the recesses of your mind? Was it the haunting soundtrack that serenaded your senses or the enigmatic storyline that left an indelible mark? Perhaps it was the characters, their struggles, and triumphs that mirrored your own. As we stand on the precipice of cinematic reflection, I implore you to share your personal tale from the Sentineland. Unearth the hidden gems of sentimentality, the laughter that echoed in the theater, or the silent tears that bore witness to the profound. Your story, like a rare cinematic artifact, adds layers to the mystique of the Sentinel, transforming it from a mere film to a shared odyssey. In this dialogue of memories, your voice is the protagonist. Share your thoughts, reflections, or anecdotes. Let them ripple through the collective consciousness of those who, like you, have traversed the corridors of the Sentineland. For in these shared narratives, we find kinship, understanding, and the profound realization that, though our stories may differ, the magic of the Sentinel unites us all. Thank you for embarking on this journey through time and memory. Your reflections, like stars in the cinematic cosmos, illuminate the vastness of our shared experiences. Until our paths cross again, may your memories of the Sentineland continue to shimmer in the tapestry of your life.